Good Saturday afternoon to everyone out there. We are going to be looking at the tropics in today's video as we could possibly see Tropical Storm Danielle in possibly the next five days, possibly the next week. We could finally see our next fourth named storm in the Atlantic. And as you can see right here, we are going to be looking at the five day graphical tropical weather outlook, which we do have that disturbance right now. That is a 30% chance of a cyclone formation in five days. This tropical wave is currently over Africa. It's going to be heading into the Atlantic, into the main development region, which will bring it a substantial amount of moisture. There's not a lot of wind shear right now that's in this type of area. It's mainly up north. So it's going to have definitely a definite chance of developing wind in the next five days here now for the main development region as you can see this is a sea surface temperature anomaly so anomaly is pretty much the average above average and below average waters so as you can see right here the main development region is uh, starts right over here at the northern Lesser Antilles. Uh, it kind of goes up a little bit and then uh, it kind of goes down right here. This is the entire main development region for the uh, hurricane season. And as you can see, we're kind of seeing a split of above average and below average uh, sea surface temperature anomalies here across the main development region more than northern portions we're seeing below average and more of the southern portions is the very just slightly above average temperatures now this doesn't mean that they're really cool waters as you can see they're actually still very warm and especially any storms that do develop further south they will also have some very substantial warm waters uh, to deal with as you can see we're seeing 28 to 27 celsius mainly in these areas but up here 25 24 those are much more cooler waters and much more uh, areas of uh lesser chance of that cyclone formation all these storms really need to do is make it to the caribbean make it to uh just off the east coast make it to the gulf of mexico that's when things could get serious this season if any storms do make it to those areas as we are seeing 30 celsius even upwards of 31 celsius of uh, waters which is meaning just extremely warm waters and extremely volatile environments uh, for these cyclones uh, that could be entering those areas uh, in possibly the next month now let's go out and look at the gfs model for this uh we're going to be looking at multiple models uh, and their opinions on this we don't have any spaghetti models out yet for this on tropical tidbits uh, it is not an invest yet so we don't have those details yet uh, but as you can see we're going to be moving forward here this is a tropical wave around uh, sunday 6 a.m as you can see it eventually moves off into the atlantic there's really not much circulation to it at all around uh tuesday or around monday 6 p.m as you can see right here still not a ton of circulations but it's getting its act together right now as you can see overnight it becomes definitely a, a very well organized circulation by then uh, and now as you can see we had it into the overnight hours and this is when it possibly might become a tropical depression maybe a, a ptc a potential tropical cyclone and as you can see it gets down to 997 millibars according to the gfs model around wednesday this is when it could possibly become tropical storm danielle we're not sure yet but that definitely looks like a quite the organized cyclone there uh, cyclone vorticity as you can see and look at that still 1002 millibars as we head into the weekend here so this is going to be friday around midday look at that circulation uh, according to those millibars still quite an organized circulation of course that starts weakening as it starts to enter some wind shear that's being picked up by these low pressure systems just north of it as you can see the bermuda high is way up here so it's not going to be really pulling into the caribbean or the east coast or anything like that and as you can see it pretty much kind of stalls out kind of dies out and we have a random high right there but of course as you can see that low pressure right there is just also kind of stalling out kind of dying out as we don't really have much turn uh, currently with the atlantic we don't have much winds that are going uh southwestward into the atlantic to bring that uh those tropical waves in there and uh we're gonna need uh, of course this we are gonna of course need that bermuda high uh to take place around the bermuda island area for any storms to, from the main development region of course to enter the caribbean or even be pulling up into the east coast that's just not gonna happen i don't think with this storm a tropical storm danielle possibly of course it's not danielle yet but definitely has a big possibility especially that we're now in early august and things are 
possibly starting to wait, ramp up. The Atlantic, I think, will wake up around mid-August, and that's when we will see the majority of August's tropical storms and stuff like that. And then I think things will ramp up around early uh, September for possibly some major stuff. As you can see, here's the moisture that we're looking at here for this uh, tropical wave. We're going to be moving forward here. As you can see, we are seeing a definite... Uh, a a big amount of moisture around this tropical system so it's not going to have any problem uh whatsoever with this moisture here as you can see it heads uh northwestward as we head into the weekend of course on august 13th uh and then it kind of weakens out again because of we do have some wind shear that's going to be setting uh over uh just to the north of uh, just kind of paralleling uh florida there it's just going to be a, a line of wind shear that's created by the uh, some of these small low pressure systems that are coming off of the U.S. and uh, developing just east of the high pressure. But again, that moisture is not going to be a problem at all, according uh, to uh, the total precipitable water normalized anomaly. And here's the European model. As you can see, the euro, the euro uh, doesn't really have this storm uh, really making it that far. It has it. it definitely that circulation is uh, strengthening its most by around 12 a.m. of Sunday. As you can see, that, that max strength, according to the European model, around 1,008 millibars. So really not doing much. The uh, European model makes uh, having possibly a PTC. But then again, it's still a very weak uh, circulation, according to the European model. Look at that one low pressure that's being dragged uh, by this high pressure towards this uh, possible uh, tropical storm. Uh, that's quite interesting. Those almost collide according uh, to the European model because of that high pressure system that just sits over here uh, just to the east of Nova Scotia there. That's a really interesting look there. Again, we're not totally sure if this is going to be turning into a tropical storm or not. We have really not a ton of details, and we're going to continue to watch these models uh, as we get more information here day by day. So stay tuned for more uploads. Stay tuned for possible live streams and everything like that. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. Turn on post notifications, like the video, share this with friends and family. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.